everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon in the Lost Valley. And in the last episode, we met our third bachelorette of the game, Catherine, a snooty rich girl who thinks she owns the place. Well, actually, she does own the place, apparently. We're just finding this out now. But, uh, yeah, so in this episode... Holy cow, these things grew fast. Um, we're just gonna be, you know, going through the motions, as we usually do. Got some plants to harvest, which are pretty cool. Um, actually, let's take this time to give an interesting story, actually. Um, well, that's a weird-looking onion. They, <laughs> they grow as you pluck them. Um, anyway, um, so, this, this is, the reason why there was no video up yesterday is because, um, I actually just had a, had a, um, hardware problem with my 3DS. For some reason, it was, all, it was kind of bricked, as in... When I tried um, taking out of sleep mode, it just wasn't having it. It was just staying in sleep mode. It just, or it wouldn't really turn on. And I kind of panicked because just upgrading this 3DS to a capture card and then having it brick. <laughs> and so it really it wouldn't work. You know, I couldn't get it working. Like, I even got up extra early before school so I could record. And the first thing I, that happened was it was like, nope, not letting you record. And since it was in sleep mode, since the previous recording session, I lost all my progress. I had to go in off screen and redo everything, redo some of the farm work and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. But you have no idea how scared I was thinking my 3DS was bricked with this capture card put into it. I'm kind of disappointed that I've missed an upload. I'm trying to upload this series a lot faster because I don't want. I'm starting to lose a lot of viewers of this series. I mean, maybe it's because people saw what they want about the game, but I still want people to check this out. And I feel like I can't do that if I'm not constantly updating. So I'm trying, I'm trying to get a video up a day. And I'm going to try and uh, move full speed ahead from now on in this series. I'm, usually I don't upload on weekends, but I feel like I'm going to try and get some videos out on weekends because I just want to get more content out and get more traffic going on this channel. But, uh, yeah, so we have our Magic Raining Snow for the day, and, um, really not much else. I mean, I have some compost I can randomly, I have a lot of compost. Let's just put it on these flowers, I guess. Add something so smelly to something that'll be so beautiful. Alright, so let's go check on Ruth, our cow, and we're probably gonna call it a day, and see if we trigger any more events. Uh, you're hungry, of course. Give you some great feed. While you eat, I will clean up your... or I'll pet your rear end. I'll clean up your... your dookie. And are you gonna eat your food, Ruth? Are you, are you just gonna spin around like that? Okay. Oh, I can, okay, I can milk her now. Or did she just eat the food that fast? Uh, I'm sorry I sound a bit out of it. It's, it's actually like a little after midnight that I'm recording this. Um, and I gotta be up in like seven hours for my game design class. Which I apologize for not having any um, any game and developer commentaries. I've just haven't been so busy with my other classes that I haven't had much time to sit down and actually um, design my game. I actually have a bit of a game-breaking bug I have to sit down with my professor and talk about, because this bug makes the game kind of no fun. Also, since I knew I had strawberries um, before that corruption, I, t I kept them and I actually gave them to, to him in, the, in that last request. All he did was give me um, was um, some broccoli seeds. Nothing really special. These events, I hope they'll give you some better you know, rewards later on, but right now they're kind of bland. Actually, I need to talk to April again. And of course, she's on the other side of the valley. Because I haven't accepted her quest, and I need to accept that. Even though she's not the girl I really wish to woo over. Even though Catherine came off as quiet as a snooty princess, I think that to be the one I want to woo, woo over. Because, honestly, of all three of them, she has the most interesting backstory. From what I've read from the official um, documents about this game and all the characters. I mean, she's shy. Whatever. And you're not giving me a request? Oh, okay. And, um, Emily, well, she's just hyperactive. And a cast friend actually has a deep backstory, apparently. Surprise, surprise for this game. A character of a backstory. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm choosing her, because I feel like I can get a lot more narrative out in this game if I choose to marry her. And I don't know when Catherine comes to visit. I mean, right now, if she was to visit my t uh, the town, or town, the valley, she would be here. And I guess she's not here yet. I don't know when she actually visits. Um, I'll probably look at the wiki when I'm done recording this episode. 
I feel we'll call it a day in this, in this, uh, on this day, and maybe we'll trigger some sort of a, um, event and help us do something. Actually, let's check our chemistry log for a second. I want to see, uh, encyclopedia, villagers, uh, let's see, wealthy young lady, rich, spoiled, strong little girl who is a bit naive. Yep. Alright, so... I don't know how much chemistry of a lot of these people, but again, at the same time, I don't talk to them much. I really have no reason to. I don't know. That's just, that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's call it a day right here. And maybe we'll get some hints on how to meet this harvest god. So we can bring back summer. How are we going to get anything? Ooh. Oh. Jimmy's birthday is coming up. I don't care! I don't want to sound mean, but I don't care. All I do is walk up to him and say happy birthday. No thought of giving him a gift, no nothing, and we have the magical raining snow once again. So, um, let me just talk to people. Do you have another request for me? Okay, whatever. Um, I guess I really don't know what else much I can do now. I mean, if, if we're going to have the magical raining snow, I don't have any real farm work to do, and I forgot to replace these crops. Dang it, Patrick. Well, I guess we do have some real farm work to do. Uh, let's just shovel the snow. And I think I am just going to cut out until something exciting does happen. So I'll meet you guys when something happens. I dreamed that I forgot to take care of my cow and she got mad. I could have sworn I fed you. Um, awkward. Well, I've really have been just sitting here recording for about half an hour and nothing has happened. I made some more land bridges. Oh, you have a request. Uh, you're hungry again. How long have you been there? Um, I've been here since you started talking. Uh, okay, you want something yummy? Do I have anything yummy she wants? Oh, I do. Don't even know what it is, but okay. Guess you can really have it, even though I have no idea what I'm giving you. Could be giving you Brussels sprouts. I guess she likes Brussels sprouts. Who would have figured? Oh, we got three iron ore for that. That's new. We haven't unlocked mining, and we got iron. That's pretty cool. Well, now that we have the magic watering snow, I better take care of my cow. And I, I've been feeding her every day and milking her and giving her all the stuff she needs. I don't know why the cow is mad. i cleaning her barn. I haven't missed feeding her. There you go. Yes, then you're okay, and you're washed. And she's happy. Maybe I just forgot to milk her? We'll find it, Ruth. Eat your meal, and then I shall milk you. And then hopefully that'll make you nice and happy. And then I can go call it a day again. And we're gonna hope that something happens to progress the game's main story. And I am probably forgetting something very obvious that may progress the game's story. So, yeah. It's almost 1 a.m. And I've been recording for about 40 minutes, I think. I don't know. I'm really tired. I just want to go to bed, but I need material. Uh, okay, so... Um, I guess that's it for this day. Well, no, way. I saw it the end of April had a request for me, so I'll wait around until about 10 a.m. and see if she shows up. And if not, we're going to have to continue on until we trigger some sort of event. Which hopefully is soon. Actually, can I visit the doctor? I mean, I want to buy... Like, he's not even in town right now. Well, he'll be in town by about ten. Oh, I have flowers to harvest, too. Oh, and onions. I see, I have plenty of things to do. By the looks of it, I have cabbages to harvest as well. Just make sure there's no airbenders around, or else my cabbages will be doomed. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I'm not talking about cartoons ever again on this channel. Well, of course I will, when I get back to playing more Spongebob, of course. Which I have not forgotten, by the way. I have just, you know, put this project ahead of it for now. I told, like I said in my update video, I want to put a focus more on some 3DS gameplay and stuff. And, uh, and that's pretty much what's happening right now. 
Harvest harvest these wonderful flowers and pour compost on the strawberries. And oops, no fertilizer. Alright. And I may grow some more flowers. I may not. I don't know. At this point, I don't cur. I'm, I'm just really tired and I just really want to go to bed, so I'm just talking now just to get some content into this video. So, okay, let's just wait around for a little bit. As you can see, I made, a, I made a, a, an interesting bridge here. That we can get over here and do some hopping to get over that, one, that get over to that island. Um, we can't really do anything over there just yet, so... And no one's at the mines. Not the mines, but at the Moon Valley. How unfortunate. Oh, well. And it's now 10 a.m. Good, and... Let's see, is he at the valley today? Yes, he is. Our friend Dr. Wiley is at the valley. We're going to go up and pay him a visit. But first, let's talk to um, Miss April and see if she has a request for us. Request. Um, can I ask you something, Pat? Uh, sure, what is it? So, my mom asked me to make a bouquet of flowers for our shop. Do you have any flowers I could use? Oh, of course I do. I just picked some today. Really? That's great. I can't f thank you enough. Let me know when you get the flowers. Alright, and do I have the right flowers already, or no? No, I do not. Okay, let's see. What does she, what does she want? Alright, why? Well, for info, she wants three pink pansies, and I only have one. Alright, I'll spy a bunch of flower seeds. Alright, so let's buy a little pink rose seed pansies. I'll buy ten of them. And I need some cash, so I'll sell you some of my flowers that I have. I'll see my great pink roses. And that, sh that should be enough for now, I guess. Let's go ahead and drop those out there. And we're going to visit our friend Dr. Wiley, and then we'll call it a day, and maybe something will happen the next day. As you can tell, this game is kind of driving me a bit insane because of all the monotony. I mean, granted, it is Harvest Moon, but you're still very restricted, in my opinion, of what you can and cannot do at this point in the game. So, uh, yeah. And my commentary right now probably is the most boring it's ever been. Um, in my Let's Plays right now, I guess, because I'm tired. But, um, that really can't be helped, now can it? Oh, yeah, I could have been. I could have recorded earlier, but I was doing schoolwork all night. So, that got in the way. And, yep, and here I am now at almost 1 a.m. I have to be up in about six hours for my computer, my, uh, game design class. And then I have to stay up till about midnight for the Super Smash Bros. launch. And I'm gonna be up early to play Smash. And I gotta, you know, get a Skype call with a bunch of guys to do some Smash Bros. Friday, which will be kind of fun. But, uh, anyways, we'll find the Doc, the good doctor. And I'm gonna use that whistle to my advantage more. Instead of having to cut my way back to the, uh, farmhouse, I can just blow that whistle and I'll be whisked away. Which is pretty cool, actually. Don't walk out. Oh, wait. I meant to bring... Did I bring in the stones with me to buy the chicken coop? Uh, I need 15 material stone, and I don't have any. And I have to go and talk to what's his name about him. So let's just go to my bag and let's use the whistle to take our way back. I'm here. I'm here. All right, get back home safely. And bada bing, we're at our home. I may not even get the chicken coop right now, because it's 8,000 gold, and I only have, like, 11k. I have a lot of vegetables, like, oh, hello, Catherine. How dare you address me without my consent? Well, hi. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? It is summer! This is too cold for summer! Well, this is your pappy's farm, Lan. You should ask him what's wrong with it. Whatever. So, yeah, she finally appears. <laughs> Alright, let's just buy some stone from him. That should do it. And 
Let's see, you have anything else to say to us, Catherine? Nope. Alright, well, we'll get our, your friendship up to most. I hope, at least. Holy cow, I've been, I gotta... So now it's this hope. Let's see if we get an event saying that something's gonna happen on the farm to progress the game's main story. Seems like Doc has some kind of problem. That doesn't help my pause at all, game. It really doesn't. And now that it's 6am in the game, not much else is happening right now. So, really can't do much else because of the snow and of the whatnot and the hoodads. So, um, yeah. I guess we'll have to go and see what the doc wants, but until then, um, let's see here. Any crops have to be plucked? Nope, not at all. Again, I apologize for this boring commentary. I mean... I don't know, it's not boring, it's just not that energetic. I'm just really sleepy. And I wonder how many times I've said I'm really sleepy in this video. I'm pretty sure I have one of those viewers who'll keep count for me. But, um, yeah. I don't even know how long this video's gonna be, because I think I, I have to cut out like 20 minutes of my footage at least. So I'm thinking I'm gonna record until like maybe the 40 minute mark or so, or whatever minute mark, I don't even know what I'm at right now. So, yeah. Now I'll call it an episode. And then I'll render this while I sleep, upload it first thing in the morning to be up maybe at about, you've probably be seeing this at about maybe 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. And then I get home from school and the gym, I'll record another few, three or four episodes if I'm not too tired, so I can have episodes to go off for the rest of the week. And I can focus more on playing Smash Bros. and the Mario Kart 8 DLC, and my freaking computer wants to, you know, be stupid. I don't care if you're seeing my volume settings right now, because it just wants to reset the default settings. This is just a botch video. You get a few of those from me every now and again when I'm up late recording. Uh... Alright. Doc's not here yet. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doctor. The medic is a spy! That was a horrible one. That medic's a spy! I guess it's a good engineer voice? I don't know. Oh, look at you, Patrick. You're going nuts thinking you're the engineer or some other class with Team Fortress 2. Which I should make TF2 videos. I, you know, I should probably team up with um, Tyson's World of Games to do some TF2 videos because he's an epic spy. I'm an epic engineer. The Spy vs. Engineer update is supposed to be coming out soon. What better way to do some sort of collab videos with that update? And I'm just trying to pass time right now and add some filler to this video because this is just a filler episode. If this episode is not getting that many views at all, then I can understand why because this is just filler. Filler is filler is filler. And I hope in the next episode something exciting does happen where, you know, say I meet someone that triggers the next event. We can meet the Harvest God and bring back Summer. But as it looks right now, we're just standing here in the middle of the cold snow waiting for the Doc to finally come which I don't even know where he comes from, because I don't even see him come out this way, and I'm just waiting, and this is just some long tirade I'm trying to use to make time pass, and he's not there yet, and I just wasted my time rambling. Alright, screw it, we're going, we're going back to the house, we're going to call it a day, and then if nothing happens... We are just going to call it an episode. I don't care how long it comes out to be. Maybe it'll be... I don't know, maybe 20 minutes? If it's, no, if it's 20 minutes, who's the one that's watch this? A 20-minute video of filler and me rambling on. Oh, I really... If, you, if you're still watching this, you... Just, I want to give you a high-five. And put your hand to the screen, because I'm putting mine on my screen, I just gave you a high-five. And if you break your computer screen for me giving you a high-five, that is not my fault whatsoever. And we're going to dream... I dreamed that I paid lots of attention to the, to the cow. She produced delicious milk. Thank you. She produced delicious milk. And if you're watching this... Oh. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Over the past week, I've made my tour of inspection. I am most dissatisfied. Well... And the, at the hardwood trees in particular. You have not tended them in the least, have you? 
Well, I don't have an axe. I can do it. Or I see a proper tending, for example. Trimming and tasks for that... For... Of that... Of that... You know what I'm tired of right now. Let me go back to bed. My father always said that trees must be properly trimmed. Well, you do have an axe, don't you? I do. But it doesn't do hardwood. Unless you wish to be evicted from our land, obtain an axe. You know I have an axe. How would it, how would uh, how would a refining lump lady know where to find something as rustic as an axe? Ask your friends. Um, great. Get an axe. Thank you. I'm gonna title this video "Harvest Moon: The Lost Valley" episode 13 eviction notice. And you know what the sad thing is? That title will not come into effect until we get to this part in the video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the future parts of this series and check out the other parts of this series. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. <laughs>